Yo guys, what's going on? It is your boy Nick from On The Foot Market. I'm coming back at it for you guys with another video. You guys saw a video this morning and if you haven't already, I suggest you guys go check it out. It was a video on how to kind of, uh, kind of finesse and what you should be doing during Black Friday lightning rounds on Friday. So I kind of walked through and told you guys exactly what I would be looking into uh, doing on Friday when the lightning rounds do start. As you can see here, I'm kind of just doing a little bit of club maintenance. Uh, you guys may notice that I am uh, I am pretty invested. I do have a lot of cards, and the reason for this was because uh, this morning, well, I talked about it the other day. I had talked about um, on the video, I think on the last video. Now I'm trading, and we're gonna go over a lot today because first of all, I wanna I wanna start the video. We're gonna be doing a team of the week investing video later today uh, on the channel. But the team of the week is like probably the best team of the week that has come out this FIFA. And I told you guys that I felt like EA was going to juice up this team of the week a lot, even though maybe my predictions do reflect that because the predictions are more safe. Um, the reason for this, guys, is because they always do a big team of the week SPC during Black Friday, and they do a lot of SPC. So a lot of the time, if a player is borderline or close, they'll just toss them in there and make an insane starting 11 to get people to open up more packs. So what does this team of the week mean? It means that a ton of people are going to open up packs that weren't going to be before. And it means that EA is going to probably bring out a team of the week SPC on Saturday. So we'll talk about that in probably a future video. But it means that I think EA is going to try to crash the market past this Friday. Um, now, I think the market is going to go up a lot after Awards Thursday. I think a lot of people are going to open up packs today. I think it's going to be a normal week with the market. I think Friday, the, the lightning rounds are going to cause some panic first hour or two, and then it's going to fly up. But I think as we go to Saturday, they probably drop a Team of the Week SBC. And then I think after that, we probably have some more 81 pluses, so things like that. And we're going to start having a lot of untradeable SBCs that are going to come onto the game and take some coins off the market from Friday and from the days before. So I think a lot of people will do Team of the Week packs if we do get them. So that's interesting. So I'm going to just be honest with you guys and show you guys the moves uh, that I had made. So I wanted to get on some uh, Robertsons before he went out of packs. Uh, so I had bought some last night because I thought when I was looking through potentials and stuff, I said, hey, there's a chance that uh, a lot of Liverpool players get in. Now, did I think there was going to be four? No, I thought it was going to be Wijnaldum and Van Dijk. I did not think Salah and Allison were going to get in. So I didn't really care because I knew that Andy was like that left back piece almost to that meta triangle. On Xbox, he's like 160. I mentioned it on my Team of the Week investing video yesterday and I said, guys, you should probably get on that Andy if you can. I think he went to like 105. He did go up like 5K because the video, which I can't control, I was just trying to give a little bit of a pick that I liked. and uh, But now he's 25K up from that point and he's extinct. The thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about regarding Robertson uh, is I had picked up on Sunday night a bunch of my 88. So you guys are probably wondering when would I sell this. I'm going to hold on to this. Um, I'm going to ride out with this probably for a while. I'm going to probably hold this until at least tomorrow after rewards when people start building teams, when people pack those reds. Because the idea of like why, why link investments and things like that go up is because when people pack reds, they go make teams around that red. So that's what I'm hoping. Somebody packs Wynaldum, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm talking other investments because, guys, I, I, I'm using this series in a way to be clear and transparent and have you guys watch how I trade through a market crash. Like, by later, by tomorrow night, I'm going to have all my coins back. So just so you guys know, I'm, I'm not like, I'm not like, I didn't build a team or anything. I, I think the market is really high, actually. I'm not interested right now. Uh, and then I had picked up a lot of Fabinho's. I picked, bought these at 70 to 73. Now, anything you're seeing on the screen right now, I probably wouldn't recommend buying unless it's not that inflated. Reason why I bought Fabinho's is because Fabinho's the number one most played player in Ultimate Team, and he's got five players on his team in Team of the Week. So I feel like, I felt like for me, Fabinho was going to definitely rise up this week. I think he usually goes to 80 to 85 anyway. So I was like, all right, I'll go get some at 74. And then um, I had saw like when I woke up this morning, I had saw a, that Leroy Sané was in Team of the Week, and I think like this is always a thing I use on Footpin guys, and I always talk about it. It's this PGP thing. This PGP tab is amazing. So what I did was like I I I, I was like. In, I had like a memory that I was like, oh man, is Leroy Sané? Like I saw that on Twitter this morning, there was a chance that he might be in. So I was like, yo, is that guy going to get in team of the week? So what I did was uh, I sorted by games and I think Leroy Sané has like the, he's in the top. He's not in the top for the gold games, but his blue has a lot of games and he's really popular. So he's up at about, he's got about 5 million games played. So he's up at about 90K and, and, uh, and I got mine at around 79 you know, 80, that kind of range. So I'm going to hold that again. I'm going to hold that till after rewards tomorrow. I'm not really in a, in a, in a, in a rush with it. Um, and then other than that, I wanted to talk about some other things. These are obviously what I just talked about. Um, I picked up some Gundawans because Gundawan is a perfect link to Sané. So I did some kind of, this is an investment that I made uh, closer to the announcement this morning. Uh, and he is like a, he's like a complimentary goods investment. So he's a guy that would link with Sané and people would pick him up. Now there's a second reason why I also picked up Gundawan. Uh, as you guys know, 
I talked about it the other night, and I did a read on Hector. I'll try to pull up the tweet right now for you guys. Um, I did a good read on Hector, um, which is what I did was I had picked him up um, at, I believe I had picked him up at 53K uh, at late at night the other night. And he's needed, obviously, for Sancho SBC. Um, and then I woke up, and the next morning he was 64K. So I had made 10,000 coins a card, and I had bought like 30, almost about 10K. So after tax, I made 230K. So what I did last night was I saw him drop down a little bit again, and I looked at Team of the Week predictions, and I said, there's probably not looking like there's going to be a German inform in. I said Nabry was the only other one. I didn't think Nabry would be less than 50. So what I did was I picked up more last night. I just want you guys to see what I did. I bought more last night. 57 is about what I paid. Um, and the reason why I bought more, guys, was because I felt like, I felt like Sancho has the same demand. So I, I, I felt like... If there's not a German inform in this team of the week, then he's going to go extinct at 70. So that's why I picked him up. And that's also relating to Gundogan. That's why I picked up Gundogan because Gundogan is the next cheapest German inform. So if this dude goes extinct, Gundogan is going to go up. So Gundogan works for me as a double investment. If there's one thing you guys know about me or, or you guys have been watching me for a while, I love double investments. Things that link with somebody and are in, in some kind of like SBC potential or, or back order. Back order. I love that kind of stuff. So that's why I had late last night. I kind of panicked, to be honest, and I bought a lot of Hectors. I paid like 56, 57. I paid a little bit higher than what I wanted to. I think he's like 68 right now. I'm not going to sell. I'm probably just going to hold on to that. What I would feel is really interesting, and I'm look, I'm trying to be open and transparent with you guys because I know a lot of you guys want to see my trade pile. I'm not saying you guys should be doing this stuff. I'm trying to walk you guys through what I'm doing. I had picked up Holidays as a result of this. I don't know if he's still 74, but I thought this was interesting because I feel like Holidays and Gundogan are the next up kind of guys, you know what I'm saying, to go up like crazy, and I had looked at Xbox, uh, you know, I had looked at Xbox when I was looking into all this, because I was like, yo, like, how is this going to go down for me, and I believe on Xbox, like, I think the inform Gundawan is like 108, yeah, he's 108, and if we look on, uh, he's that, and then uh, Hodes, I think, is like 115, so that's the reason why I had gone crazy, Hodes is extinct, actually, at 100, so that's why I had li literally looked into that stuff, um, now in terms of like a sell time, I'm probably not selling any of this stuff anytime soon. Um, and this is just normal kind of trading that I do throughout the week. So I want you guys to see it and I want you guys to understand it. Um, now I think a lot of you are, are obviously watching the series to know when to buy your teams, when to, what's going on with the market. I'll be honest with you guys, man, this team of the week is going to be crazy. Um, and that means that there's going to be a lot that come with it. Um, I, I genuinely feel like EA is going to drop on Saturday, probably a team of the week, uh, repeatable SBC. You will probably see that. Um, and what that would look like, what a team of the week SBC would look like, uh, is a 84, it, it depends on the team of the week. This team of the week would probably be 84 rated, uh, untradeable, no team of the weeks required, and then 84 rated, two tra tradable team of the weeks required, or two, two team of the weeks, or one or two team of the week required. So it probably will happen. And what, what do those SBCs mean for the market? Well, it means it kind of crashes the market. Now is this team of the week SBC available for any team of the week? No, it's only available for um, the current team of the week. So you have the opportunity to open for the current team of the week. I believe in times in the past for the tradable one, you guys can stock your, you can stock your tradable one for another team of the week. If you guys really want to, that's kind of a, a feat of it. So what I would expect with the market this week, and I want to talk about it with you guys, because honestly, you guys have been watching the series. We're on episode 10 now. Um, and look like there hasn't really been a market crash. There's been two sell-offs on Sunday night. Those have been all right times to buy a team, but we have not had a market crash. And I've been telling you guys, I'm waiting for a crash. I want a crash. I, and, and I'm going to be honest, like it wasn't looking like it yesterday. Now, EA have finessed an insane team of the, finessed an insane team of the week in two packs. And what this can mean for the market is that yes, it can crash past Saturday. Here's what I'm thinking and, and, and hear me out. And this is probably what you're going to be looking like tomorrow, tonight, tonight, a lot of people open packs, right? This is Wednesday. A lot of people are going to be opening up Team of the Week packs today. I'm telling you guys a lot. People are going to be opening up FIFA point packs. A lot of coins coming out to the market. Tonight, we're going to get weekly rewards. The market is going to fly in the next 24 hours. It's going to go really high. A lot of people are just done with waiting for their crash team to buy. They're going to panic buy their teams, in my opinion. That's what's going on. Friday, the market in the morning is probably going to take a downturn. I would expect people start to get start to sell up, get a little scared for Black Friday. Lightning round's coming. And they're going to sell, man. When, when EA tweets it out tomorrow that Black Friday is on Friday, they're going to go crazy is what I'm, is what I'm, is what I'm th predicting. Um, so that's one thing that is coming. And then I would say after that, you're going to have a lightning round or two of panic. And then in the nighttime, the market's probably going to fly. Why? Because people are getting coins into their accounts. Now, what I mean by that is the market going to fly. Most things out of packs, most things that are in demand and meta are going to go up. Meta golds that are in packs will probably go up. 
Um, and then low tier stuff, like like the high rated stuff, that stuff's probably gonna go down because of the supply. So anything under 83 rated, even 83 and 84 is tight. Um, and then stuff like that is gonna go down because the supply is just too much. Now, Saturday can potentially be a Team of the Week SBC. I know last year it came out on Saturday, I believe, and the market took a big dip. Um, it took a really big dip last Saturday. Last year on Saturday, it did not do well because what a Team of the Week SBC does is it, it, it represents so much bigger than just an, a, a chance of doing this. It represents the coin sucking factor that comes into these accounts. So you have that's definitely going to come with this kind of Team of the Week. I can't not expect that to come. Probably maybe an 81 plus upgrade pack, which people will go broke on, including myself. I'll do a lot of them. So they're, they always bring out a lot of flash SBCs on Black Friday as well. So you guys can expect a lot of SBCs to come on Black Friday. Um, and then there's also an outside shot that we get a baby icon SBC this this weekend. If they do something like that, man, if it's a if, if it's a repeatable and tradable, the market is going to go down bad. So the market this weekend, that is what it's going to look like. And it all depends on what SBCs EA releases from Saturday on. If they release a ton of untradable, repeatable SBCs, the market is going to go down big time. And that for the next three days, you're going to have the opportunity to buy your team, ship it off, and then forget about it forever. Next Thursday, the market is going to go up a ton. The, this would be the ideal thing. If EA drops these SBCs on Saturday, you get to kickstart the market going down on Saturday. Sunday, people sell off their weekend league teams. And there is panic because Cyber Monday is a thing on FIFA. And it's a part of the Black Friday promo. And what Cyber Monday includes is another set of lightning rounds that come out while people are selling their weekend league teams. So you would have a massive combination of a lot of selling, a lot of supply... And untradable SBCs. You have three things that would be happening on that Saturday to Monday timeline. That's why I think that if there is going to be a market crash during Black Friday, that is going to be the period. It all depends on what SBCs EA drops. It's a big, big, big factor, guys, in terms of what SBCs EA drops. Now, I don't think Prime Icons will get hit that badly. I think Prime Icons will be the will be safe. I think those are fine. I would say to you guys, if you want to buy your team, go buy your team. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's very hard to exactly tell you a right time to buy your team. I don't want you guys to wait too long. I see a lot of people waiting for Friday to snipe during lightning rounds. The market might go up like a ton because everybody's waiting to buy. You want to get your team, maybe just go get it. I'm just going to keep waiting it out. I'm not buying a team, but in terms of trading and all that, what I've done today is team of the week relevant. It's not relevant towards Black Friday. They're just team of the week moves that I've made based off team of the week. That's it. So I would, I would use... Whatever you feel like is going to happen. If you think the market is going to crash, if you feel like this, something's going to happen, then don't buy your team. If you just are done with it and you want to just play with your team and you don't really care if you lose coins anymore, just buy your team. Because I understand right now, it's frustrating. There has not really been a big crash yet. I get that. Um, so I'm, I'm with you guys there, man. I understand every, everything you guys are going through. I read the comment section all the time. Like, I know where you guys are at. I know it's very hard. This is a weird... This is very weird, guys, compared to any other market we've had uh, in FIFA so far. It's a really weird market. It's like... There's so many more coins this year on the game, and it's really, 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 really impacting the market. It's it's not allowing the market to naturally drop down. Now, I actually wanted to look at two quick things with you guys while we're on the topic of Team of the Week. Before we we're gonna we're gonna not spend a ton of time on the concept squads today. We're gonna I wanted to talk about Team of the Week and that kind of stuff. I heard Blue Andy Robertson is like seventy thousand coins because the the top one is extinct. Is that true? Oh my God, he's sixty five k. You gotta be kidding me. This guy was 30 k the other day, sixty k right now. That is mental. I want to take a look at Van Dyke because I'm interested in the sell-off on Van Dyke. I want to see if he's getting any uh, big undercuts or things like that. I'm looking into the inform. It looks like he's about, what, 290? Wow, there's a lot on the market. Oh, my. How many Van Dykes are on the market? Oh, my God. I didn't even know there was that many in this game. Holy shenanigans. What is this? Are they going low? Oh, yeah, 280? Wow, look at this, guys. Look how many people are listing Van Dyke. Oh, my God. 276? My God, so I'm going to be looking at this card at 250 with the amount of supply it has. I'm going to be looking to try to get that at like 250k is what I'm, was, was probably my target price. Um, so what else do we have here? We got the internet. So all this kind of stuff, guys, look, it's going to go higher tomorrow, any of this kind of stuff. You may want to wait it out, though, a little bit today and see if the new team of the week, if you're looking to buy any of these past team of the week informs or anything like this, you may want to wait it out today and see if people panic sell these kind of cards um, due, to, due to the fact that we have a nasty team of the week. People may panic sell things to, I don't know, but people just panic, guys. Whenever there's a big promo or a big team of the week or a big lightning round or something coming, people just panic when there's new stuff that comes out. So maybe you guys wait and see what's up with all this stuff today. Um, maybe you guys see if it drops a little bit with the team of the week coming out. If people open up packs and like people decide to sell this stuff to go get coins for packs, I, I don't know. But this team of the week is so good that I feel like people might just spark market panic. So 
in in turn, you got if you want to get any of those meta team of the week cards, you guys got to get them before tomorrow because the you guys know what happens on the market on uh on Thursdays, man. The market just goes up 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 and it doesn't come back. Now, golds are interesting. Golds are weird. I have done a little bit of a gold stock this week. I bought Jordi Alba and Umtiti and then I have Sanes. That's it. Um, last week I made a lot of coins on goals during rewards because I bought before and I sold after. Um, it's a tough one. It's the same. It's the same way. My inner self tells me to wait to buy these golds till about Monday, Sunday or Monday. I, I I feel like with these golds, when you have lightning rounds on Cyber Monday and you've got a, if you have repeatable SBCs out, maybe an 81 plus things like that, this is going to hurt the gold market big time. So I feel like if you're buying goals today, you're not buying that inflated, but you're buying at a price that may not, it's, it's really tough guys to give you guys advice. Cause I don't want everybody watching the video to wait. And then you guys want to go buy at the same time and it's all screwed up and nobody can get a deal. I don't want that. I want you guys to scatter and, and buy whenever the hell you're happy. That, that is my end game plan for everybody watching the video. I want you guys to all buy whenever the hell you're happy. Now, Baby icons. Here's been my verdict on baby icons. There hasn't been panic selling with icons. So here's how you have to go about icons. You have to get deals on icons. That's how it's going to be, guys. You're going to have to go during lightning rounds when the whole world is opening up packs on Friday. You're going to have to sit on the 59th minute. You're going to have to sit in these concept squads, and you're going to have to look for those big undercuts. You're going to try to have to get those big boy deals. It's not going to be easy, but in my opinion, it's the only way you guys are going to be able to make some big boy coins. You're going to have to wait for those undercuts and they will be there people will pack these icons people will list the maradona at one four you just got to be quick and that's that's how we're gonna have to roll out with it guys it's gonna have to be like that you're gonna have to try to get a big deal because these guys do not want to be sold now you're probably looking for a deal on friday and that in that case you can still buy the player and then play with them in your weekly team or you're looking for a deal with them on sunday into monday uh for the weekend league sell-off that's kind of what you're looking for you've got two options in which you guys could probably go for those cards um, and the same thing goes with prime icons. I'm not saying anything different with the prime icons. They're the same exact way. The prime icons are literally the same way. You're going to have to get a deal. Um, and it sucks. These guys don't have any supply. They don't have any panic and nobody lists them low. So that's, that's just the reality of it, guys. People don't want to sell any of these cards. Um, and so the, 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 you will need panic to get a good deal on these is, is how I feel. So, um, that's going to be it for the video today. I don't want to keep you guys here too long. I want to be honest with you guys and I want you guys to hear how I feel about things. And uh, kind of just understand a little bit of everything. I'm still selling a few Arnautoviches. Um, but that's how I feel, guys. And, like, I think that's the best way that everybody can go about it. Um, and, yeah, that's that's probably the best thing you guys can do. I'm going to have to panic sell some of these icons. I can't even sell them. Um, that's the best way in my eyes, guys, that you can definitely make some good coins. Why can't I sell Figo? What's going on with Figo? 880? God damn, I bought this at 850. So, and then this one I overpaid for the other day. Wow, he's 805. We're not doing too hot on some icons right now. No, no wonder these didn't sell overnight. No wonder, guys. No wonder these didn't sell all night. All right, we're going to lower this to like 815. Guys, thank you for watching the video today. I appreciate all of you guys supporting the channel, the, the everything, man. It's so overwhelming. So thank you guys for being here. I love all you guys, and I'll see you guys in a video soon. Peace out.